I always seem to think everyone around me is really calm. I just know that my heart's in my throat and my, I'm, I'm, I seem to feel like I'm shitting myself more than anyone else. Yeah, I'm not the most gifted surfer in the world, I never have been, and especially in, in big, shallow, dangerous waves like that. For me, the, the preparation helps a lot. You know, between all these different things that you do day to day, it gives you the confidence to be able to push your own limit and have a good time while you're doing it. Just off to the, the carpet warehouse to pick up the, the day's work, and, and uh, you know we don't find out where I'm going until I get there. So it's a bit of a mixed bag sometimes. But uh, today, actually, I got to do a bit of makeup because the waves were good early on in the week, and I shuffled a few things around. And um, so now today, I got to kind of do do a bit of a double and uh, make up some money I missed out while I was surfing. The nine to five was never going to suit me and I'm kind of bored with uh, one thing so I got into a few different things. Leaving school got into carpet lane because it's pretty much the only job around. It was good, decent money and then um, you know after a while I found that to be just pretty boring actually and, and mind numbing work so a friend of mine who was a pro surfer had a few mates who were into stunt work. Thought it was something that I'd be able to do. Trained a little bit extra and uh, passed the grading and um, yeah, so I became a professional stunt performer. And uh, along the way, training as well, we all got into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu here. You know, one thing led to another, got higher up in belts and whatnot, started teaching and, yeah, teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu a couple of nights a week as well, so. Jiu-Jitsu kind of goes hand in hand with surfing for me. It's because, you know, every day on the mat, just like every time you go surf is, is almost like a, a personal challenge. You can't walk onto the mat with, with half a head on because it's, you know, you're going to get smoked by some kid. If you're surfing hours and you, your mind is elsewhere, you're going to get licked. It's as simple as that. So, Between the three jobs of uh, carpet, jiu-jitsu and, and stunt performing, it, it's, uh, you know, it keeps me pretty busy. I love the challenge. It, I, I reckon it keeps me young. Uh, you know, everyone loves getting barreled. The bigger they are, of course, the better, you know, and it's just it's good to be out there with your mates. So it's not something that you do, it's something that's part of you. And uh, I'm not that young anymore, you know, and it's, it's never going to, it's not paid a bill to this date, so I'm not expecting it to, you know. When we were growing up here, it wasn't a pretty, prettiest of towns. There was not much here, there's lots of, trouble here and we found our fair share of it. You know, surfing for the most part kept a lot of the boys and myself included, I guess, uh, on a straighter path and a healthy path and uh, getting into it and introducing it from a really young age has been, it's shaped the way that I live and think 